Hey everyone. Lanka was a famous city of the Rakshasa king Ravana. It was situated on the island of Lanka and was originally made as a city for the devas but was invaded by the Rakshasa. So today let's know about the grand and golden city that came to be called as Lanka. Let's start the video but before that please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Once Vayu the wind god and Vasuki the king of snakes got in a fight. They both claimed that they were more powerful than the other. Vasuki wrapped himself around the mountain Meru. He wrapped himself so tightly that even Vayu couldn't squeeze himself in. Vayu was enraged and broke into a cyclone. The cyclone was so fierce that even Meru mountain began to shake but Vasuki did not move. The devas went to Vishnu and told him about what was happening. Lord Vishnu commanded Vayu and Vasuki to stop. When Vasuki unwound, a part of the mountain broke off. Vayu took this part of the mountain and carried it to an island near the southern tip of India. This mountain became Trikuta. Indra wanted Vishwakarma to build a city for him. Vishwakarma built a city on the peak of the Trikuta mountain that had been placed by Vayu. This city came to be known as Lanka. Once Brahma was reciting the Vedas and he became irritated. Out of his irritation were born Heti and Praheti. Heti was an evil rakshasa and Praheti was a virtuous yaksha. Heti married Bhaya who gave birth to Vidyut Kesha. Vidyut Kesha married Salakantaka and their son Sukesha married Devavati and had 3 sons called Malivana Mali and Sumali they attained a boon from Brahma to become invincible and then conquered the city of Lanka from the devas Malivana Mali and Sumali started harassing everyone in the three worlds the devas tired of being attacked went to lord shiva for help shiva told them to go to lord vishnu then lord vishnu was told about the rakshasas he went and attacked the rakshasas who came out eagerly to attack lord vishnu first vishnu killed mali this made all the rakshasas retreat vishnu directed his sudarshan chakra to go to lanka every day and kill a few rakshasas when this continued malivana and sumali and other remaining rakshasas left lanka and retreated to rasatala in patal loka Kubera the son of Vishravas and Ilavida and the god of wealth decided to establish his kingdom at Lanka because nobody was over there at Lanka Kubera did penance to please lord Shiva for 100 years Kubera was granted lordship over the yakshas by Shiva soon enough the yakshas who had been aimlessly wandering the world without a leader decided to settle down in Lanka under Kubera For many years Kubera peacefully and prosperously ruled Lanka. Meanwhile, at Rasatala, Sumali and Malivana wanted to take back Lanka. They now hated Vishnu for killing their brother. They decided to marry Sumali's daughter Kaikesi to a powerful sage. Kaikesi eventually married Vishavas. Three sons named Ravana, Kumbhakarna and Vibhishana and a daughter named Shurpanakha were born to them. Later, two other daughters of Sumali married Vishavas and more Rakshasa children were born. When they grew up, Ravana and his brothers got boons from Brahma that made them very powerful. Brahma also gave Ravana the Devas Amrita and the Pinaka Bow. Ravana went to Sumali. Sumali realized how much power Ravana now had so he put the entire Rakshasa army under Ravana's commander. With their new army, Ravana, his brothers and half brothers now set off to conquer Lanka. They invaded Lanka and mercilessly killed many. Ravana was about to kill Kubera when Vishavas appeared there. Unwillingly, Kubera left as he was told that Ravana would kill him, so he immediately left. Ravana was a very skilled king. It is said that under his rule, even the poorest families in Lanka had gold vessels, meaning there was no poverty or starvation. 
but just a small island of Lanka wasn't enough for Ravana. With his boons by his side, Ravana started conquering kingdom after kingdom. The kings of the kingdoms couldn't even stand up to Ravana. Ravana killed the kings, took all their wealth and captured the women he liked. His empire soon stretched from the southernmost tip of India to Janasthana in present-day Maharashtra. But Ravana kept conquering more and more. Ravana's reign of Lanka was also very long. During his reign, great kingdoms of central and northern India came to power and then were destroyed. For example, Ravana was ruling at the time of the High Haya Empire, Kosala Kingdom and many others. Ravana's son Meghnada even succeeded in defeating Indra. Meanwhile, Rama was a son of Dashrata, the king of Kosala and his wife Kaushalya. But Dashrata's second wife, Kaikeyi, forced Dashrata to send Rama into a 14-year exile and crown her son Bharata the king. Rama, his wife Sita and Lakshmana were forced to go into exile. Shurpanakha stumbled across a trio during their exile and fell in love with Rama. But her ears and nose were cut off by Lakshmana when she tried to seduce Rama and harass Sita. Shurpanakha went back to Lanka and told her brother what had happened. Ravana decided to capture the beautiful Sita. Having executed his plan, he grabbed Sita and took her to Lanka. Rama had been told by Jatayu that Sita had been taken south to Lanka by Ravana. Rama and Lakshmana started travelling south. Soon, they met Hanuman, Sugriv and all the other Vanaras. Hanuman was sent as a messenger to Ravana. Ravana was enraged by this. He tied up Hanuman and set his tail ablaze. Hanuman slipped out of the rope and started setting the buildings of Lanka on fire. After doing so, Hanuman left Lanka. This fire was soon extinguished but it left Ravana enraged. Rama and his followers were able to construct a bridge across the sea and reach the island of Lanka. Vibhishana decided to side with Rama because he realized Rama was divine and righteous. Rama, Lakshmana, Hanuman, Sugriv and their Vanara army besieged Lankapuri. One by one, Ravana sent his relatives. First, he sent his army, but it perished but then sent his brothers, half-brothers, sons and nephews one by one, but they were all killed. Soon, even his son Meghnada, who had defeated Indra himself, died. Demoralized and lonely, Ravana mounted his chariot and prepared to attack Rama's army. Ravana looked frightening with his ten heads and twenty arms. Rama kept firing arrows at Ravana's head, but after every shot, they would grow back. Rama started becoming anxious. He couldn't think of a way to defeat Ravana. Indra, who had been watching the fight from Swarga, ordered his charioteer Matali to go assist Rama. Rama got into Matali's flying chariot and kept firing weapons. Rama then invoked the Brahmastra, which was given to him by Agastirishi. Saying Parvati's name, Rama fired the Brahmastra straight at Ravana's navel and Ravana fell dead. After the war, Vibhishana was crowned the ruler of Lanka. Vibhishana, being a Chiranjeevi, ruled for a very long time. Lanka was indeed a city of pure melted gold and holds heavy heritage of our rich history. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.